Hello, I'm Ethan, and this is part 7 of my 9 part video series on how to do a full piano. If you want to watch the whole series, you can click the card up there. In this video, I'm going to teach you the end perms. Before we start though, both of these algorithms are very similar to the J perms, so you need to learn those algorithms first by clicking the card up there. Once you know the J perms, we're ready to learn the N perms, so let's get started. The N perms are diagonal swap PLLs. They swap diagonal corners here and opposite edges here. These algorithms are among the most rare PLL algorithms, but they are also the longest. However, they're also the easiest PLL algorithms to recognize because they're the same if you apply the algorithm from all sides. So you can recognize them by having the blocks on the right, which is the NA perm, or the blocks on the left, which is the NB perm. So the first algorithm is the NA perm. This algorithm is very similar to the JB perm. So there are two ways of finger tricking it. The first one, the more basic way, starts with a regrip, then doing R, U, R prime, and then U as a push with your left hand. Then the JB perm, the more basic way, with the regrip. And then instead of the U prime at the end, we do a U2 with either your left or your right. I mean, I prefer right because I find it easier to do it with my right. And then R, U prime, R prime. But the more advanced way of finger tricking this algorithm is by starting with R and then U as a push, R prime, U, and then the JB perm, the more advanced way, and then U2, R, U prime, R prime. So this is me doing the algorithm as fast as I can, the more basic way, and the more advanced way. And the second algorithm, the one with the blocks on the left, is the NB perm. This algorithm is similar to the JA perm. In fact, it's just the first section of the JA perm twice. So, we start by taking out this F2L pair, and then taking out this F2L pair, and then we can separate them by hiding this one and moving this one over. But then here, instead of doing the R prime, we would instead do an L, and then repeat those seven moves. Take this pair out, take this pair out, separate them, and then L. And then just U prime to finish it off. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, click the button over there to get a notification when I upload the next video in this series. So I will see you next time. Bye!